Uh, you'll never know what a landlord will do to keep track of his or her renters, especially when it comes to tracking stimulus checks. This, this one caught my attention, as it did Jerry Willis's. Jerry, what's going on here? Hey, Neil, that's right. I want you to take a look at exactly what a landlord is sending a tenant. These are the texts Austin Goodrich of Portland, Oregon, says his landlord sent him. You got your stimulus just asking, are you going to pay rent? Goodrich, the tenant, says, how did you check the answer online? Where? IRS. Did you need to use my Social Security number? The chilling answer, yes. Joshua Broder, founder of DoNotPay.com, brought this to the forefront when Goodrich, the tenant in these texts, reached out to him for help. It's a disgrace how um, little the government is protecting our data. Um, any landlord can go on this go uh, government IRS website, put in the tenant's social security number and a few basic details, which they have from the rental application, and use all of that to instantly see where the tenant is and um, whether they got this stimulus check. Landlords using this portal to track their tenants' checks all they need is basic rental application information. It could be a lot more than a disgrace. Well, it could be illegal. Congress has prohibited that. It's my understanding, and again, this is a novel area of the law because this is happening as we speak and there are no cases on it. There is nothing, nothing the landlord can do legally to interrupt the flow of the cash from the IRS to the tenant. And the IRS does warn users in big letters on the portal, unauthorized use of this system is prohibited and subject to criminal and civil penalties, including all penalties applicable to willful uh, unauthorized access. Now, Browder tells us texts like the ones we showed you are a widespread issue and that a federal investigation is underway. So what can you do if your landlord is pressuring you? Well, A, number one, no surprises. Tell them if you are not going to pay. Nobody likes a nasty surprise. And check out the laws in your state and your municipality to find out if something has been passed to protect you. As you can see from this map, many have. And finally, send your landlord copies of the law if nothing else work. Neil, we've reached out both to the Justice Department and the IRS. No word yet from them confirming any investigations. Neil.